Hey you guys, welcome to the Danger Zone. This is Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings to you. You guys, there's some slimy stuff going on in this in this family. But we have to take it all the way back to the royal event. Do y'all remember when they went to that future leaders of the of the world event where little Begging Megan she seen crossing her legs? Then as she and fake Harry and the HLIC head lizard in charge all stand to applaud she dives into harry and grabs him <laughs> she goes to grab his hand and he pulls a royal psych and the expression on her face is just not just shock really but add a dash of humiliation and top that off with looking stupid anyway she just he's not trying to be mauled by her at all times you would think that she would learn some stuff by now. Let's fast forward a little bit. Then you have the christening. Uncle Daddy Harry and Auntie, totally desperate, arrives. And again, she shackled him up and going into the service with her death grip around his arm. But eventually, by the time services were over, I think he was sick of being mauled by her. That she goes in to grab his hand and his... his Thoughts are all over his face. I can see him thinking, why in the world is Granny doing this to me? Sending Granny to grab a child and run. Telepathic messages using the reptilian frequency. Begging for a private meeting over tea and mealworms to ask how long this punishment's going to last. And we all know that the Royal Christening dress code is soft pastels for the hers and royal blues for the hymns and if i really thought megan chose her own clothes i would need my head examined so why did these people stick this girl in this olive brown get up look at these pictures oh wait there's that drunk aunt susie she showed up way out of dress code but seriously why did they stick this girl in this olive brown thing it's almost like marking her in the pictures so look at these pics of course she's tossed in the duchess de uh, death grip around his arm again and then in the next picture you can see it in her eyes why can't harry wear me as a suit megan girl don't you know what happens to a smothered fire it goes out <laughs> quit smothering your fire it is going out anyway it's just a really pathetic situation and she tried her best to hold his hand coming out of the building and he wasn't having it but here we have everybody's pictures pastels and creams royal blues for hymns and she's an olive brown what are they trying to say So here's what's going on. Harry's put his, his claw down and he's demanding her follow his his rules. He says he forbids her to wear any masculine clothes, any suits, tailored suits, tuxedo sh shirts. <coughs> she is to start dressing from the royal closet and leave the Hollywood clothes in Hollywood. Uh, no matter. It, they, she's added an extra $2 million to their royal budget, by the way, for clothes alone. And that makes me just gag. But they're going to the Invictus Games in New Zealand in October. And for this tour, she is to dress like a royal. He has banned all suits, tuxedo shirts. Do you hear what I'm saying? Banned. This is the very first of many. Okay, Diana went through it. It might have been on the down low. But it, don't, don't go and help children. Homeless needing clothes food education a roof over their heads clean water don't don't go help them god knows let's add two million dollars to our rural clothing budget for the year wearing royal clothes he says she's not representing the royal family so this man is saying he bans her now i'm sure he scolded her privately but this is 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 just ridiculous you guys for him to say publicly that he bans her from dressing masculine he told her to start looking royal 
and leave the Hollywood stuff in Hollywood. To close the Hollywood closet and start representing the monarch. This is pathetic. Okay? And it's kind of like Diana and Prince Charles' situation. In the beginning of the relationship, he would scold her maybe behind the scenes. But as time went on, he didn't care who knew how distasteful he thought his wife was. And we all seen the ending to that situation. And then there's Thomas, Toxic Thomas and Samantha. Uh, they're out making their rounds again. And he's telling people he's thinking that she's being physically abused now by this family. Samantha's worried for her sister. She's absolutely ticked off at her sister. And she says that her sister ought to let the dad into the, the palace. I can see that happening. He'd clank every time he walked because he stuck the family silver down his drawers. But seriously, I mean, you guys, this is a crazy bunch. And then you've got Sharon Osbourne throwing her two cents into things. And she's calling him a drunk Thomas. And, you know, my thing is, I get that Sharon is a drug and a drunk expert because she's had to raise Ozzy for 50 years. But I've never seen this man with anything but a, bu a bucket of KFC chicken in his hands. She cannot go around on na national television accusing this guy of being a drunk, a drunk or a druggard or anything else. But guess who's come out of the woodwork, you guys? The, the family of Doria Ragland, okay? Her brother Joseph has now said that uh, his, gr his mother, Megan's grandmother, would be extremely disappointed in who she's turned out to be. Very proud for the fact that maybe she was somebody special in, in the monarch or in, in, you know, that family. However, her actions have disappointed the entire family of the Raglan side of the family. Anyway, but see, nobody hears about that. You got to dig to find that kind of stuff out. His name is Joseph, and they come from very meager, humble uh, beginnings, and they live a very um, middle-income lifestyle like like normal people in this country do or or all the you know we're we're not one percenters and neither are they and he says she's just lost who she is and he's very disappointed and he knows his mama would be too megan's also said that she agrees with the royal family that her family is a complete humiliation and embarrassment and that she is no longer going to ever speak to her dad again she has cut all ties with him, and she'll never have anything to do with him again because the damage that he's done to her has been absolutely devastating. And she's worried that he's going to leak some of her private information out. I'd like to know some of that. Like, was she really married, like, three times? And does she really have a baby? So keep speaking, Thomas. I'd love to know it all. It's no, It doesn't take a crystal ball or a psychic or even a, a brain surgeon to know that this is not going to end well for the Markles. Um, Thomas, Samantha, all of you guys. Man, I'm praying for y'all. Anyway, you guys, I just thought I'd throw some fun out there before we get to the serious stuff. And I'll see y'all real soon and we'll talk real quick. So, y'all be good. Be blessed. Bye, y'all. If I haven't replied to y'all about the wigs, I will.